Guys, today is a very special day. I drove all the way back up home uh, yesterday, made the four hour drive back home. And today we are doing a mystery tackle box, unboxing it in slam for you guys. We're back at, you already know it, the Lake of Dreams. Now Benny is swimming around in here somewhere. So who knows, we might even catch Benny today. So that'll be fun, but we're gonna go ahead and get over here on the island and pop open this box and see what we got this month. Now, before we get too far into this video, if you've never heard of Mystery Tackle Box, it is fishing simplified. You get a box just like this in the mail every month, and you can save up to 15% on retail prices of these lures inside this box. So it's like Christmas every month. I always love getting home and seeing a box like this in the mailbox because I know it's time to go catch some fish. So if you want to get in the Mystery Tackle Box, you can use my code JHMiller to get your first box ever for as low as $10. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop in this box. So we're gonna go and crack open this box here and see what we've got. First thing I see, we've got a Guggen Squad flat banger crankbait. This will be nice to throw out in this grass line. This fish should be moving up already a little bit. So this bait right here will probably catch a few good fish. Next thing I see, we have a Weston, what is this, a hypo twist. It's kind of like a whopper plopper, but the tail is actually free swinging. It's like a paddle tail. So this will be cool to fish on top water. I'll probably end up throwing this first since it is early morning. Next, we've got the Dibble Tips and Tricks. This booklet right here actually tells you a few tips and tricks about fishing that you might not have known before, so this will be cool. We've also got a What's Inside card, and this will show you kind of what's inside your box uh, that you got. We've also got some bait cards here on the Hoax Fish Scam Shad and the Weston Hypo Twist, two of the baits that are featured in this box. And speaking of the Hoax Fish, we actually have some right here. This is the Scam Shad. It looks like kind of like a black and blue color. These will be good to throw on a Texas rig, so these will be these will be something I throw as the day progresses. We have some Harmony Fishing Hooks to go with those, so that'll be good. We'll go and pair those up. Next, we have a Dobbins Rods Extreme Jig. It's like a hand tied skirt. It looks almost kind of like a, a Ned hook. Very low profile jig, green pumpkin. I'll end up throwing this out deep on the grass patches I know about out here. So that'll be good. And the last, I guess not bait, but the last item in this box, we have some liquid mayhem. This is shad scent. You can actually put this on your baits and it'll actually supposedly attract more fish to the baits. So I'll end up putting this on a few of the baits. We'll see if that holds any water. And then finally in this box, we have some throwback stickers. These are some older stickers, I guess you could say, or older logos for Mystery Tackle Box. As you can see, this is the original logo for Mystery Tackle Box right here. So that's cool, but yeah, let's go and throw everything back in here and get started with the slam. So naturally, we're going to be starting off with the topwater bait since it is early, early in the morning. All tied up, not good. Let's go catch some fish. That's a little baby. You see that? That was a small little fish, but something shows some interest in this, and that is a start. We're going to throw a little bit farther out. I really feel like the fish are right. Little baby. Right when it hit the water, guys. This thing just kind of came up and blew up on it. So, with that, this is going to be the first fish... Yeah, I'm gonna need the pliers for this little guy. I'm not trying to get a treble hook in my hand today. There we go. Hook's out. Small little fish, but it is the first fish of the day, and we will take him. See you later, buddy. Now, typically what you would do in a mystery tackle box slam is after you catch a fish on your first bait, you would go ahead and switch over to your next bait. But since this is just prime top wire conditions, I'm gonna keep throwing this for a few minutes and see if we can get some more fish on it. What we are gonna do here in a minute, if I don't catch it or get a bite this cast, I'm probably gonna switch just because I wanna get everything knocked off. Cause that has happened to me before where I keep a certain bait tied on and then don't complete the slam cause I'm so focused on one bait. There we go, you wanted it. Feels pretty good. Feels like a nice little two and a half, three maybe guys. This is a solid little fish. Hey, not trying to shake it. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, buddy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy, buddy. Get up here. That's what we're talking about. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this hook out and get Buddy on his way. Thank you for participating, little guy. What do you give him? I give him 18. All right, buddy. 
See you later. Oh, that's your little guy. All right, I already know what you're throwing next. I'm gonna throw the Guggen Baits uh, flat banger. It's like a little square bill crankbait. And actually, what I might do on this is actually add some of that shad scent maybe to the sides of it. I haven't really got a good smell of it yet, but I trust that it's gonna attract some of these fish. So we're just gonna kind of maybe put some down the sides. Is this how this stuff works? You just kind of kind of throw some on there like that and call it good. And no, guys, I'm not gonna rub it in. I think this is fine. <laughs> First cast in that grass line. I should want to come over here and steal your spot. And there he is. A little baby. Tiny, tiny fish. But an MTB slam size does not matter. A fish is a fish. But there he goes. New bait. I thought that shad smell was just going to come right off, but. Boy, was I was mistaken. That stuff stays on there through thick and thin. All right, we're going to throw on this little jig next. It's kind of a small bait. There's another good bait right here, guys. The Biospawn Exopod, and this is in green pumpkin. Green pumpkin is slowly becoming one of my favorite colors. This thing may be a little bit too big for this jig, but again, the whole point was just to add a little bit more oomph to the profile here. There we go. This trailer is a little bit too big, but I'm not too worried about it. Because it's going to make this thing more noticeable. Sink it right down. There should be a little opening in the grass out there. And that's where I'm trying to put this jig. Looks like I didn't hit it. I'm in grass. Last December, I caught my first ever, well not first ever, jig fish. But I had my first ever successful day with a jig. I think I could, that was a video where I caught seven fish in nine casts. And that's because I found that opening out there and that's where I'm trying to put this jig right now it's kind of like once you find it you're on them for a little bit okay I'm in the opening right now this is perfect I'm on it yep there's a fish good, one. good fish either that or he's in grass I think it's a little bit of both there's a little fish buried somewhere in that grass there he is it's a small little fish Oh my gosh, dude, this thing is feisty. I don't know what happened to him, but we're going to get him back in the water. It wasn't 13 something, but still, there he goes. Now, very similar to that jig, I'm actually going to be fishing this scam shad as a Texas rig, and I'm just going to be sinking it down in the grass, same thing as the jig. Just kind of hoping I can buy a bite in some fish that are kind of stacked up out there. And I believe, unless I'm mistaken, the hooks here in the scam shad are actually the last baits in the box. So as soon as I catch a fish on this, I've completed the slam. So I'm feeling really good. Let's get this tied up and let's catch some fish on it. Now, does it show? I'm kind of curious how this works. It doesn't show. I want to say this hook, you put this hook in like so. And I believe what you're going to do is put it kind of through there. And it'll kind of flutter down. That looks really interesting. And also, we're going to put some of this uh, liquid mayhem in between. Baby. <laughs> Baby, but it counts. Get up here, little guy. Flip him in. And that is the Mystery Tackle Box Slam completed. See you later, buddy. Alrighty guys, so that is going to do it for this Mystery Tackle Box unboxing and slam video. Again, if you liked what you saw and you want to get in the Mystery Tackle Box, use my code JHMiller and you can go ahead and get your first box for as low as $10. That link will be in the very top of the description below. And if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. I'll be filming more videos like this in the future. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, JHMiller went out. See ya.